links. See if this works. Online. Okay, I think I'm online, folks. Just give me two seconds and let's put this over here. Right here. Hello, everyone. Just give me two seconds. It's just uh, stalled on me there. I'm just going to get a link out to our social media pages and I'll start chatting with you guys. Right, okay. I don't want that there. Oh. All right, a link there, a link there. Bit All right, publish and Twitter. There we go. All right, I think that's out. Post. Sorry, folks, just give me two seconds. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So how is everyone doing? I uh, don't know where you're from. So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are located at the moment. So I'm just going to restructure this so I can see you guys and the questions, if you do have any questions. No problems if not. All right. Okay. So what? A few people in? Right. Okay. So, yeah, nice to see some uh, familiar faces or should I say um, uh, handles in the chat here. So, yeah, I just want to uh, tell you a bit about what's going to come up. Uh, there's going to be a few, I guess, relatively big changes. But uh, before I get into that, uh, I just want to tell you what's coming up on the channel. So, I'm going to get my diary up. So, um, the next few interviews we've got coming out is this Sunday, which is with Roy McIntyre on the F3. And then after that, on the 14th of April, we have David Parsons on the F14 uh, in Desert Storm. Uh, and then after that, on the 28th of April also, we have the interview with Sunshine on the Prowler. And then on the 12th of May, we have Dennis Brooks, which will be our Tornado GR special, which is going to be mint. Uh, it's going to be based at um, Brunting Thorpe. Uh, we're going to have to fill in front of the lightning just because the location that Dennis is in at the moment, is there's no suitable uh, museums with the Tornado GR1 or GR4. So um, unfortunately, we're going to have to film with lightning, but uh, that's going to give us, uh, you know, more more footage in terms of walking around the lightning in the cockpit etc so yes yeah, so that's what's coming up i had i do have a few interviews in the works at the moment um we do have we still have the wildcat interview i'm i'm, I'm hoping to hear this week if we do have that because it's going to be filmed at uh y n a s yovelton and uh, that's going to be awesome if it comes through because we get to actually film and uh, with the wildcat up close and hopefully get a bit of a walk around from that um and there's a few others but i can't really mention anything now because i've had no definite yeses but we do have a lot coming up um as soon as i know you guys will know um so that's my diary for now so we're basically sorted for interviews until duh, duh, duh. let me look again the 12th of may and we've got about well I think about three or four in talks. So hopefully they'll come through and then I can let you know what the types are going to be. Uh, uh, thanks very much. I uh, really appreciate the support. And uh, yeah, oh, Caribbean, wow. I wish I was there. And uh, yeah, the Prowl and Tornado ones are going to be good. But uh, so I'll tell you the, the changes that are going to come. Uh, some probably are not going to like it, some are. But um as you can imagine, uh, running a channel does cost a lot of money. 
So what I've decided to do from now on, and which will be starting this Sunday with uh, Roy McIntyre's F3, Tornado F3 special, is I'm going to start splitting the interview into two parts. So part one will be out this Sunday. <coughs> Sunday, sorry. Sorry about that. And part two will be the Sunday after. However, if you sign up to Patreon for, uh, we have $5 plus per month, you can watch that interview straight away. So the full interview will be available to Patreon, uh, yeah, Patreons or patrons via um, the website, uh, www.patreon.com forward slash Acre Interview. If you sign up for $5 a month, you will get that interview every the Wednesday before it's supposed to come out part one for the public. So Roy McIntyre, just to explain, uh, on the F3 special, will be out for patrons, the full interview on Wednesday at 7 o'clock UK time. But part one will only be available on YouTube to the rest of the public this Sunday. And then the Sunday afterwards will be part two. This is just because as the channel grows, it does cost a lot of, like, a lot of money to run. And we haven't had as many patrons as we would like. And we would like to start to um, get in that side of things. And, uh, like, you know, because it t costs a lot of money just to go to interviews, uh, travel, uh, hotels, etc. And we think, like, $5 a month for, you know, getting the full interview. Plus, you get other bonuses as well. So if you go to that uh, the website, patreon.com forward slash Acre Interview, you will see the tiers. We have different ones. We have four ranging from $1 per month uh, right up to $25. $1 per month basically just gives you, yeah, just to say thanks for, I guess, putting these interviews out. Uh, $5 a month is where you get the full interview at least three days before uh, part one goes out. And it's a full interview, and it's just for you guys who sign up. And then we have $10 a month, and you get exclusive, uh, you get bonus footage, uh, you get uh, aircrew interview sticker, which we're in the works of doing at the moment, and also you get to submit questions uh, for upcoming interviews. Uh, so we're going to do, at the end, where we have the personal parts, we're going to have a section, probably, I'm thinking, two or three questions. So if you're on that $10 uh, tier, which is called Fox 2, we've classed it as, you get to submit questions, and we're going to include two questions from our patrons that will be in that interview on every full interview. And we will uh, be, you know, uh, mixing and matching, so everyone will get a, a question in there. And then twenty-five dollars, you'll you'll see, you get a lot more. You get a T-shirt, and um, you get unedited uh, versions of the internet. So you get like candid chat between me and the guest, which is uh, we never put out because you know it's. Uh, it's not really right for YouTube, but I think some of you might be interested. So that is going to be the big change. Uh, so we're going to put it in parts. So part one on the first Sunday. So we're going to do it right down the middle, 50-50. Uh, so Roy's interview that's coming out this Sunday is the full interview is 54 minutes. So I'm going to split it right down the middle. So it'll be 27 minutes this Sunday. And then part two next Sunday will be 27 minutes. However, if you do sign up to uh, $5 or more, Patreon, um, you will get it on Wednesday, uh, this Wednesday, um, and you get the full interview, and that'll be exclusive to you guys. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's just a way to try and get uh, a bit more resources into the channel, because um, uh, obviously, I would love to do more, like, you know, going over to Europe or even America. But again, it costs money to run this channel, and uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys will um, be interested in that, and hopefully, you'll stick with us because. Essentially, we've been um, some months um, more difficult than others. Uh, you know, we have good months and bad months in terms of finance, you know, uh, up and down just due to YouTube. Um, but Patreon is, we give them number one priority. So we, we essentially see them as a as a customer. So we try and give them the best service, the, the first for everything. And uh, yeah, also exclusive giveaways as well, um, which we do on there which are only a part of them so yeah if you want to go and uh, you think it's worth it and you like what we do it really will help so go over to patreon.com forward slash aircrew interview and uh yeah that will really help us out and uh yeah and if you do it today you will get uh roy mcintyre's 
a full interview on Wednesday. And I'm not just saying this, guys, but Roy's interview, I've been, it's actually finished today. I edited um, the final cut today about about two hours ago, and it's a really good one. It's uh, it's all about the F3. I think there's about four minutes of the F4 at the start, but it's all about the F3, and it's 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 amazing. And I uh, really enjoyed it, and Roy's a great guy. And, uh, yeah, over 4,000 hours he has, so he's the man on the F3 year, you know, It's uh, and it comes through in that interview. But uh, right, okay. Well, if you want any questions, um, just let me know. I'm going to flick through. Uh, duh, duh, duh. But uh, I just wanted to let you know um, about what's going to change because I don't want anyone to be shocked um, because I, um, there's going to be some people who are not going to like it saying, you know, why didn't you put the full interview out? But I think a part one and part two is fair. That gives us content every week as well, obviously. Um Signing up will be perfect, and you'll get the full interview and a lot more. Uh, da, 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 da. Another very early second. <laughs> yeah, Roy Mac. Yeah, yeah, great guy. Uh, hi, Mike. Uh, if you're in the comments, uh, nice to see you. Yeah, Tornado F3. Um, yeah, he had four thousand hours on that, Roy. So, um, yeah. Um, oh, thanks, whoever just signed up. Who do we get here on Patreon? This got a um, Eric Johansson. Uh, thank you. If that was you in the comments at all, or are you watching this? Um, he's signed up, so thank you very much, and uh, welcome to the the team. Also, if you do sign up for the five dollars or more Patreon. Um, you also get credited as a producer at the end of each full interview, so your name will be listed uh, in the credits uh, just to say that you've helped produce this interview. So another reason to um, yeah get involved and uh, help us out um, because obviously we're one of the smaller channels and uh, it, it really does help um, as, you know to carry on. And um, I really want to get some trips in this year. Um, I only go for like a couple of days at a time. I mean, Sweden, I think I was there. I was literally there one day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, I want to go to a few other countries. I want to go to France, get some mirages in there. But obviously, again, these cost money. So the help from you guys will be uh, more than appreciated. It's a great challenge. Get to I sell my soul to it. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, I think we are, we're doing okay at the moment in terms of um, views. Our our views have gone up, and our subscribers. I think we're almost on fifteen thousand now, which is great. Um, we've increased quite a lot, and uh, I think it's thanks to you guys. So hopefully, I want to keep that going because obviously, the more views we get and uh, traffic to our site or YouTube channel um, is it's always going to benefit us and uh, allow us to keep on growing because. Um, I do obviously we get money from Google as well, but our main sort our main source is from Patreon. Like guys, like whoever signs up, uh, guys like you, uh, guys and girls. So yeah, uh, please just take a look as well. Um, that'll be good for us. Uh, anything else? Uh, da -da -da. Oh, no worries, Mike. Yeah, I know everyone's like got certain issues and responsibilities in life, but uh, yeah, if you can or whatever, it's in the future more than happy to uh, have you on board. Um, anything else coming up? Um, I'm basically just working quite long hours at the moment, so um, I'm trying to get everything out uh, on date. So we've got Roy's ready for Wednesday, and tomorrow morning I'll be starting editing on, uh, who's next? Uh, David Parsons on the F14 in Desert Storm. That's about an hour and, I think it's about an hour and 20 minutes. Let me double check for that interview. Because we got so much footage, uh, what should I say? Footage. We got we did it via Skype, obviously. But uh, yeah, we got da -da -da. yeah one hour twenty minutes right there, which is quite a lot. So that'll be you know split up fairly. Um, but obviously there are going to be cuts in that. But it should be a good interview. And uh, you guys love the F fourteen, as do I. Um, so yeah. So, and after that, 
what am I doing? I'm heading to Bruntingthorpe on the 2nd of April. Uh, and also another thing that's going to be exclusive to Patreon because I'm interviewing Dennis Brooks on the Tornado GR1 that he flew. And he's also has 4,000 hours plus on the type. But we're filming with the Lightning. And this will be exclusive to uh, Patreons. But I... It's going to be a walk around of the lightning and also the cockpit with Dennis. And that's going to be literally for uh, Patreons only. So that won't go out even to the public. Um, it won't go out on YouTube. It'll just be for $5 plus patrons. Um, and I think that'll be interesting because everyone loves the lightning. And uh, yeah, a little walk around at Bunting Thought where they actually run them. Uh, that I think it's... I think it's called like Thunder Day or Thun, I can't remember, but they basically do fast taxis in the Lightning, and uh, Dennis is one of the pilots. Uh, I shared your... Oh, that's great. Thanks, Sean. Um, could you get an interview with Martin with us? He would be good. Um, yeah, possibly. I um, haven't really thought about much of the Vulcan recently, but yeah, I think he would be a good one. Um, I would love some more MIG drivers. Yeah, I would love, I love that. Um, again, they're just they're quite difficult to come across. And um, I've tried a few times with a few people who've, you know, said they're going to put me in contact with them. Never came through. And that's um, that's just something that happens. You know, I would say about fifty percent of the people that try to contact you and say, um, "I'll put you in contact with this person," or like, "I'll, I'll make it happen." It never happens. So you just have to take everything with a pinch of salt in that sense. Um, but yeah, if I see any MIG drivers, you know, or get any, uh, you know, respectful emails uh, that want to do it, I will certainly snap them up. Just passing by, quite good to say you're bringing up some epic interviews, and they are massively appreciated. Oh well, thank you. Uh, thanks very much. Yeah, um, we got some great ones coming up. I think I have to say because um, the F three is my favorite aircraft. I think. Roy's interview, uh, Roy McIntyre's on the F3 that I've just finished editing is probably one of the favorite I've done. Uh, it's, um, I really enjoyed it, just the whole process of actually interviewing and uh, hearing a bit more about the aircraft itself and, and the edit as well. We also got some um, footage from David Gledhill from his time on the F3. He was a former F3 nav and he's kindly donated, donated, uh, giving me some footage of his f3 days so it, it just it just makes it um a great interview and uh, there's like a quite a nice story throughout um and you'll see the footage throughout that and uh yeah i'm looking forward to that and hopefully um you guys will uh, enjoy it and uh yes yeah. what else looking forward to hearing Dennis chat yeah yeah what's your top three planes off the top of your head in order, top of my head, Tornado F3, F14 Tomcat, and probably F111. Do you feel like World War II documentaries have already saturated them? Mm, I, I think, for me, uh, thanks, David uh, Watson, for signing up for a $5 patron. Um, thank you very much. Big help. And yeah, hopefully in, you'll enjoy the Roy's interview on Wednesday evening once it'll go live for you. Uh, where was I? Uh, World War Two. Uh, personally, I am not a huge World War Two. I wouldn't say fan, but I don't have too much interest in it. Hence, why you'll see I don't do too many interviews on it. Um, it's it's. I don't know why that is. I've just never really um caught on to the whole idea even the bbmf I, I enjoy them obviously seeing them but it's uh it's never been like the greatest interest for me it's always been fast jets cold war jets for me um but obviously still aviation i still love them and still love them seeing that air shows uh, flying about do, do let's see i know it's too little eric winkle brown have a great interview he did. yeah that would have been great yeah, that would have been absolutely awesome. And last question: Do I ever get get tired of talking about hair crew? Uh, sometimes it's. Uh, I think my girlfriend uh, gets annoyed when I'm trying when I'm bending my ear about an email I've got or something's went wrong. So yeah, 
but on the most part I enjoy it but I try and switch off at evenings so I'll work from probably like half seven eight till about six o'clock in the evening and try and switch off and yeah sometimes I watch aviation stuff but sometimes I just watch crap TV and then I'm done uh, you're still welcome to the South Yorkshire Aircraft Museum for the camera 70th anniversary in June 15th, on June 15th, 16th. Plenty of ground, air crew and ground crew. Yeah, that will be great, Darren. Yeah, if I can get that down there, I, I certainly will. It sounds like it'll be a, be a really good event and you've got some great guests. So hopefully, if I'm not busy, I will be down there. Something of a... Yeah, I think so. I think it's got a swing wing or variable sweet wing. Yeah, I think I'm, 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 I love it. Even the Russian and uh, MiG-23s, MiG-27s, what have you. Yeah, I, I love them. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take my hat off. Sorry, I'm really itchy. Been a bit cold now today. Um, so, yeah, but, um, we've got some good stuff coming up. Uh, and I'm hoping you guys – well, I'll ask you, actually, what do you think about the whole splitting it in two? I know not everyone can um yeah thanks david absolutely amazing i uh, appreciate that and welcome to the team and uh yeah hopefully he'll enjoy roy's like i say on wednesday but yeah just like what what are your what are your thoughts on splitting it into two um you know one sunday is part one the next sunday is part two i mean it's 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 gonna happen but i know not, not everyone's in the position to you know, pay m monthly donations, you know, $5 donations. But uh, I would just love to know what you guys think um, because I've seen some, um, I won't name any names, but uh, not even like aviation podcasts, but podcasts, and they charge a fortune uh, for Patreon and you don't really get much. And uh, and some of the people don't necessarily need the money. And I just think charging so much, uh, you know, for content that uh, you you know you don't really need the money for is a bit um i, I don't know um, not really acceptable but uh, yeah let me know what you think uh but uh, yep yeah, so patreons are our patrons are the main concern like a customer for us so you always come first and uh, yeah as i say we're also getting stickers made and um also getting some i'm gonna get about 30 or 40 uh uh, remove before flight stick um, key ring, sorry, uh, with our logo on the back uh, that are going to be for sale, probably around, I haven't worked out how much they're going to be, but probably around about £6. And hopefully they're going to be around in the next month or two, something like that. So we're looking into that as well, which also helps, you know, a little bit of income to plan future interviews. So if you could create playlists so it's easier to find part two yeah there, there's going to be um yeah i mean part one and two there's going to be like yeah a playlist obviously we're going to put the thumbnail um what i'm going to do is put a, a big one in the right hand corner and two so if you do know um you you'll you'll instantly know like one two obviously and obviously the link at the end of the interview will have a box but there will be a playlist um that I'll be creating as of this Sunday for that. And once part two is out, I will be putting the full interview out that will be linked on the website, um, aircrewinterview.tv. So you can go and straight watch that. And that will be linked um, on the second Sunday for part two as well. So you don't have to watch just part two. You can watch the whole thing um, two weeks later, I guess, if you want to do that. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, hi Paul, yeah, nice to see you. Personally, my thoughts: it's wonderful to have your free videos, but knowing the costs of kit, etc., and your time, which is on average twenty-seven an hour, so five a month is a no-brainer. Yeah, exactly. That's that's our thoughts as well, David. I mean, it's we don't think it's a much. I think what is it? What's what's about five dollars a month in in UK terms is about three pounds twenty a month. Um, uh, and then you get two full interviews long before everybody else, and uh, you get credited as, um, as a producer, and we don't think that's a, a bad price uh, at all. Obviously, we go up the tiers as well, like I said. Um, so we've classed them as guns Fox 1, Fox 2, Fox 3. 
and uh, we think that suits uh, pretty well. Da -da -da. well okay, so. But yeah, also like what Mike says, yeah, splitting, uh, splitting the interviews up into two parts as well. Uh, if you don't sign up to be a patron, um, benefits us because essentially we get yeah you have content out every Sunday. Whereas obviously we have two interviews. Well, we did have two interviews a month, so that was you know um, an in a full interview. You know, you know twice a month every sun every other Sunday, and this time this means that you get content every Sunday at seven o'clock, even if it's part two, and then you get part one of the next one, and, then, and you know so on so on. So it does work in both sense uh, financially for us to help uh, to create uh, more interviews, but also constant content, which also brings in views and hopefully new viewers and subscribers for the channel. Um, because we're hoping to hit, uh, we're hoping to hit fifteen thousand subscribers by the end of the month with our our stats at the moment. That should be possible, but uh, we'll see. Um, but there's still quite a long a long way to go. Um, let me see here. Right. Uh, yeah, how are you doing, Paul? Uh, Paul Kennard's in the comments. Um, if you see him, um, say hello. Uh, the former Chinook pilot. We'll need to chit chat and get to that one with you, I think. Normal news or stuff. Yeah, yeah, this is just a, this is just a general chat, uh, just because I just wanted to speak openly to you all about what's coming up because I didn't want anyone to be shocked about what's going to come this Sunday because no doubt there will be people who are going to complain and say, you know, well, why didn't you can't you just put out the full interview? But uh, most of, hopefully everyone's intelligent enough to realize, you know, what I'm doing. Um, and uh, it just makes sense uh, on a, a level to continue to put these interviews out because I've got so many plans and also a plan I, I don't want to, delve too much into it but we're going to be doing the first um aircrew interview meetup um hopefully in summer and basically essentially it's getting a venue getting news guys down and getting probably like three of our previous guests to do talks and then we're all going to mingle and have a beer and have a hot dog or whatever and just chill at, you know in a great venue and just talk aviation so i'm in the middle of planning and that as well but planning that um takes time and also money so we'll i'll keep you updated on that because it's going to be a ticketed event um with some like hopefully some special guests that are going to turn up but uh that's all i'm going to say on the matter because it's all in talks and there's nothing set but that's going to be an idea for june july uh, in the uk um so that should be good right uh Yeah, Paul, I'll probably talk to you about it, you know, in private. Um, I'll let you know when I know further details. But, yeah. Uh, da -da -da, will you be interviewing any... Um, again, like, I am in talks with all with people you've... or types you've just said. Um, but I can't name any names because they're all kind of yes on the initial uh, meet or contact but apart from that it's it's quite difficult so some people don't realize and i'll tell you so if i let's say i have an idea of okay i want uh uh okay just because paul's in i want a chinook pilot uh, to interview and it it takes quite a while depending on the person but if i say right i'll put out a feeler on social media looking for a chinook pilot to interview um blah 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 in the next couple of weeks or next month however whatever it is and um from that start if someone gives me an email and gives me a name it normally takes i would say about two to three about two weeks before someone says definite yes and then it takes an extra few days from that just to plan and organize because some people are willing to travel uh, some guests are willing to travel i mean um for instance uh, roy on the f3 that's coming out this week. Um, he travelled all the way from Fife uh, down to basically Yorkshire. Uh, that was amazing. I've never that was that was pretty cool. Uh, some people just want to keep it local, which is fine. I understand. Um, so it all depends on the person, how like how much they want to be interviewed, you know. And uh, 
yeah, it's, so it's a, it's the planning is quite difficult when it's just yourself and you've got other things to do as well. But uh, I, I love it. <laughs> da -da. Well, will you be? We'll do anything for beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, good call that one. So yes, um, I think I just before I head up. Oh, David, I think yeah. Well, thanks very much for the kind, just straight donation as well. That was that's very generous of you. Um, that's great. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, to go and visit a Royal Air Force. But right, um, actually getting on Royal Air Force bases is quite difficult. Um, I think the only one I've got onto is. Uh, it was at RAF Scampton when I interviewed Jace Hawker, but probably because he was just red one, um, I got on base. But apart from that, I've tried a few times. I've tried with Lake and Heath, and initially it's like, yes, okay, um, and then you just never hear anything back. So I'm probably not like the, a big enough channel yet uh, to, you know, kind of get on base and go to, you know, RAF Lake and Heath or Coningsby to film. I don't think I'm in the position yet. Hopefully in a few years I will be. At the moment, no. Uh, da, da, da. But uh, yeah, there's some great museums around the UK. Like I prefer to. Well, I'm, I love uh, filming at uh, museums because it gives you it's a good option. You get lots of types in there as well, so you can mix it up with and you know backgrounds for the start, finish, what have you. Um, but some uh, like the museums down London. I'm at, oh yeah, I forgot. I uh, will be. I forgot to mention this. What day is that? Da, 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 da. May time, early May, I would be going down to London to interview um, Toro, who was a former uh, F-14 Rio, and she also was a backseater in the F-16 and F-18, right through from the A to the F, I believe. So that'll be interesting to hear about you know, her experiences as a lady on the carrier and, and obviously flying the mighty F-14. So that's I'm interviewing her on May, uh, but um, no set location yet. We're still in talks because she's based in Europe at the moment. Um, so we're just still looking into that. But I will be interviewing her. Um, it's just a matter of location. Um, what else? Uh, da, da, da. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, I'm looking for a javelin, but I can't mention this, a javelin pilot at the moment. Uh, I think I, I'm just fascinated with that aircraft. I mean, it's horrendously ugly well, i think anyway but uh, it's always fascinated me and uh, i'm hopefully going to hear back probably the next few days about that if i can get something sorted for probably early probably early april but no set dates as of yet um i want to do more transport this year as well um i can say i'm going to be doing a hercules interview I've definitely got the yes on the guy. I'm not going to say the name, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great one because uh, he flew for the U.S. Air Force, but he did an exchange with the RAF. So that's going to be great to get comparisons of both Air Forces uh, on the type. Mike, I know World War II is not your main area of interest, but I think interviews with some of the current... Yeah, I think, yeah, I always want to try and do you know the guys who fly the warbirds but again they're quite difficult to get um i have no idea why this is uh i've emailed a few that i think would be interesting uh, for you folks and for myself and basically got no response back um so i don't know i have no idea why pun excellent job yeah the javelin would be good uh, Gloucester Javelin, yeah, that's it. A rare. But there's, I think there's quite a few around the country. So um, I think we're going to be probably, hopefully, doing. I think there's one at Newick. That's ideally where I'd want to do it. I think there's one at Newick. Can't remember. Don't, uh, don't quote me on that one. Uh, and then what else? Uh, I can't think. Uh, I've got so much. <laughs> I have to look at my diary because I'm. I've got also got a whiteboard, as you guys know, because I'm like quite analog like that. I'm not all digital. I still need reminding about things, even to go to the bloody post office. Yeah, I'm getting old. Uh, right. I'm trying to think. Let's look at my diary. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention. Yeah, another point here. Uh, so yeah, if you do sign up to Patreon, um, you also get like you're going to get exclusive bonus material. Uh, that's a $5 plus 
uh, onwards. Um, so I guess content that no one else is going to see. It's going to be exclusive to Patreon. And the last one that's been up is um, I interviewed Dave Parsons, as you know, on the F14, and he, you know, he's quite famous for his uh, photography. So I think that was about six or seven minute segment, and that's only exclusive to patrons. And you can go and view that now if you sign up. So it's content like that will be exclusive to patrons as well. And so not everything will be coming out on YouTube. So um, you get, you know, little things like that. And, um, and also in our highest tier, which is Fox 3, which is $25 a month, you're also going to get unedited um interviews so essentially you get like off camera chat because i do leave the camera on uh because sometimes like some of the stuff you get is 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 really great just uh, off camera chat and obviously i'm gonna ask all the uh, interview interviewees or guests uh, it, their permission before i put it up uh, to um patron but uh, they, they'll probably be fine with it we've had a few already and um yeah some of the chats off camera are great and uh hopefully you'll see that if you sign up Anyone know much about the Polish flying pelicans of World War Two? No, can't say I do actually. Unfortunately, uh, right. How long have I been on for? Crikey, didn't mean to chat this long. Sorry for boring you guys. Uh, right, 30, 35 minutes. Right, I'm probably gonna go. Um, so yeah, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. But uh, please just go to—I'll put it in the thing right now. Uh, but just worth checking out and go and helping us out. Um, it's not a lot of money a month, um, but as you know, it's going to help us out, and we can carry on this channel and even put out more content. The more patrons we have, you know, the better. The more content I could even put out. I'm, I mean, I would love to put out a full interview every week, but. Fortunately, that's not in the cards right now. So I'll put it in the comments below. Please go and check it out. It's patreon.com forward slash aircrew interview. We've got four different tiers. Just please check it out and uh, hopefully we'll see some of you join the team. And uh, yeah, what we're going to do as well, I think um, I'm looking for uh, very soon some um live q and a's i know paul if i don't know if paul's still in the, the chat but paul canard uh, wants to do another one and i definitely want to do another one uh we've got marcus hara who also wants to do one the tanker pilot awesome through desert storm got some great stories and also we're going to get orky back in the show the f14 pilot and um, hopefully next month i've been in touch with his son so hopefully we're going to get Oki back on. And I've got a few others that I'm trying to talk to because not all, our, um, all of our past guests actually want to be on camera uh, in this kind of environment, which is absolutely fine. So, But if you do have any suggestions, you know, you can, um, you know, email me. Uh, or I'm sure you can go to the website, aircrewinterview.tv. We've got our, our links via social media, email, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, Paul, you still up for a future q a let us know in the comments before i go and um yeah i'll be in touch via email hopefully we can sort that out and uh, yeah and new office everyone as well so i've changed everything around um yeah so i've got a nice uh, pleasant working environment and uh yeah so thanks everyone for listening and um hopefully i'll see you soon i will do another one of these probably in a month or so to um you know keep you updated because i want to try and keep you updated via video because it seems the best way because sometimes social media things get missed during the you know because people at work etc so i'm going to keep this on for a couple of days uh before i put it to private and um, to give everyone a chance to catch up and you know see what we're up to but uh yeah great well thanks again everyone and have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are and uh, thanks for joining me cheers <laughs>